Thanks, Jenna. Well, she is an Olympic silver medalist, a newlywed, and has just been named community ambassador for Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries. Winnipeg's own Janine Hansen joining us now. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Hard to believe almost a year ago you won that. It was almost a year. It is hard to believe. Wow. You rode your way to a silver medal at the Olympics in London. Yeah. How has the past year been? Uh, it's kind of been a bit of a whirlwind, actually. Everything sort of happened quickly and packing up life and planning a wedding and now having this new role, so it's been great. And yeah, you just got married in February. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us about the guy. Is he an athlete too? Not an athlete. He's a financial advisor. CIBC moved him to Winnipeg, which was great. That's good. And uh, yeah, it's been been very fun sort of setting up life here. So this is home for you now? This is, yeah, we're back home. That's awesome. Home for me, not home for him, but wow. he's happy to be here now. <laughs> this is his home now. He has no choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really happy to have you back in Thanks. the city and you just signed on for a really great role, community ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing. So it's called the Impact Team and so I've gone to a lot of the sponsored events that Liquor and Lotteries sponsors and it's been great to sort of share my medal with people and tell my Olympic story and I think it's been fun sort of going back through all of the training that we did and really reflecting on the years and being able to sort of share with people how I got where I did and, and the steps to get there. So it's been fun. So we're going to be able to see you at various events. Yeah. So I'm going to out to Morris this afternoon, or as soon as I'm done here. And uh, this weekend I'm in Steinbach and there's sort of so many festivals coming up and at manitobalotteries.com there's the list of um, events that I'll be at if you want to come out and see me or there's also an opportunity where you can request me to come to your event. Oh, so yesterday I was at, um, or Sunday I was at an Air Cadets end of the year thing and Friday night I did a 20th anniversary for uh, Sapphire's Rhythmic Gymnastics and spoke wow. at that event. So it's been really a lot of fun. Well, you have been very public about that, saying that it, yeah. you received a lot of support when you were training yeah, and now sure. you want to give it back to the young athletes. Absolutely. So, I mean, this year is a Canada Games year and then now in 2017 we have it as well. So that's a great opportunity to sort of get involved with those youth. And um, I think for me, like trying something new at 17 and getting into rowing when, when I was older and just being open to trying something new was really, you know, what I encourage other young athletes to do and just don't get stuck on one thing because I really wanted to play basketball but Aww. look at the opportunities that rowing brought me so and that's a great that's a great thing to say too because you don't have to be doing this since you were five years old and, right you know you could come by something quite naturally and have a great talent for it at a little yeah. bit of an older age yeah. so what would your message be for all the future budding athletes out there future Olympians uh, well no one gets to the top without a little help from their friends <laughs> so use the people around you as definite support and um, you know, just, yeah, try something new and don't be afraid to look silly because I looked pretty darn silly trying both karate and rowing when I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked out pretty good for you. Yeah. So what's next? Now you're a new wife, you're back home. Yeah, uh, it's nice to hang out with my family and my yeah. brother has two young kids, so it's nice to be around for that kind of stuff and just sort of, yeah, working with Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries and having a chance to share all of the good work that they do and the sponsorships that uh, they provide so that, you know, organizations can do great things. So it's really exciting. And are we still training? Is there more Olympics? No, there's no more Olympics, but I will row for fun. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> Fun awesome. and fitness. Fun and fitness. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, Janine. Thanks for all having me. All the best with your new role. And you can find her out and about in the community because she is back home, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking a quick break here on BT. Stay with us. Thank you.